Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where you can get solutions to different mathematical questions. On this video, I'm discussing with you a statistical question of using the least squares method to estimate the trend line. Enjoy! So on this question, uh, it reads, the table below shows the profit made by a textile company between the year 2011 and 2019. So you see the year from 2011 to 2019 and uh, the profit made in millions uh, from 2011 to 2019. So the first question is use the least squares method to estimate the trend line. Uh, B, estimate the profit of the year 2021. So the first thing we need to do there is uh, to create a table uh, for uh, the trend values. So we make the table uh, like this one. So you can see the first column is uh, for the years from 2011 to 2019. Uh, the second column is for value of uh, Y, which is a uh, profit in this case. You have the X and uh, capital X, where X is, uh, we talk about the difference in the years. Um, the x squared, x y, and the trend line, which we are going to find the trend line. Now, um, we need to understand the number of n, so we need to count these. These are nine values, so n means nine, so that means uh, you need to have the value of n. So in this case, um, n uh, equals to nine, which of course is the odd uh, numbers. Uh, of years. So uh, the reason why we arrive at 2015 is because 2015 is at the center of these nine um, values. So the next step now is to fill in uh, the values. So for the first value here is 9.8 uh, counts 11.5 and then we fill the rest in that order. So after filling in the value now we do the sum of y and uh, if we add all these values uh, this gives us 118.6. Uh, so from there we come to the value of x. Now we talk about x is uh, the year so like for this 2011 minus 2015 this gives us negative 4. On this one, 2012 minus uh, 2015 gives us negative 3. And we fill the rest in that order. So after filling in, uh, we do the sum of x. So when we add that, we get 0. Uh, in the column for x squared, we multiply, uh, we square the value of x, which is negative 4 uh, square. This gives us 16. Negative 3 squared, this gives us 9, and we fill again in the same order. So after doing so, we uh, do the sum of x squared. So when we add them, uh, we get 60. And then in the next column, uh, we multiply x times y. Uh, so in this uh, case, we multiply 9.8. Uh, times negative 4. This gives us negative 39.2. Uh, xy of the next uh, row is negative 3 times 11.5. This gives us um, negative 34.5. Um, the next row, when you multiply uh, x and y, gives us a negative 26.4. Now uh, we fill in the rest in that order. So after filling in the values of xy in each row, so we do the sum of xy and uh, this gives us 42.7. So for us to get the trend line, uh, that is y for the profit. Uh, we need to remember uh, that the trend line is actually given by um, 
a plus uh, bx. And we need to know what a is, which is uh, sum of y over n, and b is uh, sum of xy over sum of x uh, squared. So we remember uh, that n is a 9, which is a number of pairs. Uh, and then uh, we need to know that uh, y, uh, p, which is a profit, which is a trend line now, is going by as uh, a plus bx, which is a trend line. Now we need to find a and b. And uh, we know that a equals to sum of uh, y uh, over n, and b equals to uh, sum of xy over sum of x squared. So in this case, we want to get a. Uh, so a is sum of y over n, which is 118.6 divided by 9. We get 13.18. That is the four second configures. And uh, for us to get b, which is sum of xy over sum of x squared, is what we have here for the 2.7 divided by uh, 60. Um, and that's what you get 0 0.7117 to four significant uh, figures. So therefore, um, we get now the trend line uh, by substituting the values of A, 13.18, and B, uh, 0 0.7117. And this is what uh, we get. So this is our trend line, is 13.18 uh, plus 0 0.7117 X, which is now our trend uh, line. So we now uh, need to put here that we can get a trend of values. So in the first instance, now uh, we substitute the value of x, which is a negative 4. So 13.18 plus 0 0.711 uh, times uh, negative 4. Uh, this gives us 10.33. Uh, that is to 4 second configures. The other value uh, where you substitute x uh, to be negative 3, so 13.18 plus 0 0.7117 in bracket, uh, negative 3, uh, this gives us 11.04. And we fill in the rest in that order, it's 11 points, uh, seven, um, six. So after filling in all the values, uh, now we do the sum of yp, uh, which uh, we get 118.62. So uh, you're supposed to get the value of sum of uh, y, which is 118.6. So you can see here is 118.62. This is because of the, the, the rounding off. So uh, that means the approximated uh, value is um, 118.6, which is equivalent to uh, the sum of uh, y. Now getting to uh, part B is estimate the profit uh, for the year 2021. So we are going uh, to use the trend line to find uh, the estimated profit in the year 2021. Uh, so when x is 2021, as you can see from uh, this value here, x is a yes, a small x, so we want to get the capital X here so that we can substitute the trend line. Um, so x equals to 2021 minus 2015. Uh, this gives us uh, x equals to 6. So now we need to substitute now to the trend line. So uh, by substituting the value of x uh, in the equation, uh, so we get uh, yp 13.18 plus 0 0.711, 7 times 6, which is the x here we get. Uh, so we get the value as uh, yp equals to 17.4502. Uh, therefore, the submitted profit for the year 2021 is 17.45 million. That is to four significant figures. Thank you very much.